Blood, Sweat, and Tears at Worlds of Fun in Kansas City, Missouri, 1970, uh, I want to say 1973, 1974, something like that. Uh, I remember my dad took us there and it was kind of a surprise because we didn't know they're going to be playing. And uh, I, I don't know, I was really into blood, sweat and tears at the time. So to me, it was cool. But, you know, many years later, of course, Frank Zappa infamously uh, called him out for, um, <clears throat> you know, just kind of, uh, how do you say it? They were miming, you know, a tape machine going like the Millie Vanilli thing. Yeah. So, you know, what can you do? But I thought it was a blast. First time I ever bought with my own money. Uh, well, I had asked for some records, you know, in the years before that. But the first record I ever went to a store and bought with my own money, first LP. I'd been buying seven inches for years by that time, right? Uh, I used to be able to go like to Walgreens or something and you could buy seven inches there. Um, first record I ever bought with my own money was Kiss Alive, first one. I still have it over here on the shelf. Um, we, went, we had just moved to Freeport, Illinois from Shreveport, Louisiana. And uh, I, uh, my dad took me to this place called The Barn. Basically, they sold waterbeds, they sold bongs, and they sold records. So I didn't know anything about KISS, and I was flipping through the records because I was bound and determined to buy a record. I had $4, which was more than enough to buy a record with. And I'm slipping through, and then all of a sudden, there it was, Kiss Alive. I mean, you know, they look like spacemen, superheroes and stuff. I was really into comic books, and I was like, oh, this is bad as hell. I'm picking this up. And it was a double album, so it cost me $3.99. Uh, so I think I had to borrow, like, you know, a quarter from my dad or something to cover the tax. But uh, that was, you know, pro prophetically, that was one of the best decisions I ever made. Because <laughs> after that, there's no turning back. Excellent question. War Pigs by Black Sabbath. So I, uh, <clears throat> I the, everyone's heard the story. I used to have an old beater a garage sale guitar. And when I was much younger, I didn't know how to play guitar. So I wasn't doing anything right. And I used to plunk along to like surf songs like the Ventures and uh, the Safaris and stuff like that. And just try to find my way. But I couldn't play a song all the way through. And I really, really, really wanted a guitar when I was 13, because of course I was in a band, right? You know, we're, we're in a band and, and I wanted a bass guitar because that was the only instrument we didn't have covered. So I asked my folks for a bass guitar for my birthday. And my dad in his infinite wisdom uh, gave me a guitar, a Gibson S1. And I was a little bummed at first. I thought I wanted a bass guitar. I'm the bass guitar, guitar player in a band. And he said, well, he said, trust me, learn how to play this and you'll know how to play the bass as a, as a side benefit, right? If I just get you a bass and you only know how to play bass, you're stuck with it. It's going to be harder for you to play guitar if you ever want to. So he set me up with lessons from a local jazz musician named Clyde Cole, who I've never looked up online, but I'm sure he played on a couple of records here and there. But um, And he sat me down and he said, okay, there's two ways we can do this. I can teach you how to play, read music, or I can teach you how to play by ear. And I said, yeah, I want to play by ear. And he said, okay. Well, we'll do that. Is there a song you'd like to play? And I said, yes, War Pigs by Black Sabbath. So that was the first one I learned. So uh, the band I was in, Phantom Zone, we did... We played Black Sabbath, of course, because I knew how to play it. We played Let's Go by the Cars because I knew how to play that, too. And then we kind of expanded into some other stuff. Like, I think we played a, a song by Angel. We played a Ted Nugent song. Uh, we played um, Budgie. Uh, we played Breaking All the House Rules, kind of half-assed it. I wasn't that good. But um, we I wrote a song. The first song I wrote was um, the bread knife song. And the lyrics were from that Shel Silverstein poem, uh, Mommy, Don't Stab Daddy with a Bread Knife. It was a gift when you were wed. 
don't stab mommy with, if you must stab mommy with the bread knife, please use another for the bread. And I wrote this riff that went along to it. And that was really the only lyrics to the song. <sighs> Crawler. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Why not? I mean, I, I um, Enormity is still like one of the best demos ever made. You know, it, it, it was like nothing. I mean, you know, I, I, the first time I heard it, I just thought I, I kind of liked creator, you know, I was a creator fan, but like I heard that crawler demo and I was like, these guys would kick creators ass if they ever ran into an alley. Right. So, um, just crawler based on the demo most i mean i have some of their other stuff and it's great like i have the unreleased uh, embalmed with hate rehearsal demo or whatever and and i really like that too but enormity was just such power and 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 pretty much uh, i obviously besides the guys i know like you know like like you for instance <laughs> and and splatteria it's like you know when i think of texas like especially back then I just think a crawler, man, they were so awesome. It's so devastating. And, um, and even though like, you know, you could compare them with creator in some sense, they were kind of playing what I thought creator would kill to play. Right. It was like, it was like death thrash metal, but it was really, really, really fucking twisted. And they, they were all just, they were all just into the zone, you know, and, and it was, it was, it was immaculate. It's like that tape from start to finish is just, yeah, you know, and, and, and I think the reason Crowley just popped in my head is because, like, even though there were so many other bands, you know, like uh, like Rotting Corpse and, and even non-death metal bands like Solitude Eternus, who who I also worshipped over the years and some more even unknown bands and and, uh, and why not Hell Dogs, you know, they were awesome, too. But, you know, you listen to Crawler, you listen to Normandy, and, and that's just fucking Texas, right? maybe one that I probably don't talk about enough is fratricide. So especially in the early days, um, sometimes when I was singing, I was trying to be like Blaine from the accused, but the rest of the time I was singing, I was trying to be like uh, Dan from fratricide. Right. I mean, uh, or I think Dan was a guitar player. I don't know. Anyway, uh, fratricide, Mark and I were really, 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 really into fratricide. Um, when we first got together and for a couple of years after that, you know, there's some other bands like Septic Death and uh, obviously that we were also trying to imitate and everything like that. And Septic Death is another one. Maybe I don't mention that much as I was just as Septic Death was a big part of it. But I don't think I mentioned Fratricide enough. They were they were just amazing. And and they, and uh, unfortunately, that was like a blink in, in the eye of history. You know, they were so good, it, uh, they couldn't last, and that, that ended up being true. I guess, and, and a really weird influence, I guess, you know, part of my development with Dan, working with a drummer like Dan, is there's a lot of stuff to do with the drums, and Dan, Dan and I were both heavily into Bow Wow Wow, the uh, uh, band from England. Yeah. Yeah, there's ex-members of Adam and the Ants. And so when I was writing something and I wanted a particular drum sound, one of the things early on I learned to work with Dan is I'm like, it's like this Bow Wow Wow song or, you know, like this beat they play in, in Louis XIV, but you play it backwards. And that was the start of my being able to connect with him. I was really into Bow Wow Wow. I love that shit. Be, 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 